welcome back. My name is Teacher Brett. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you go down there and do that right now so that you get updated about any of the new videos that I have coming out. But today I wanted to share with you guys another resource for teaching online. You can also use this if you're teaching in person, um, but I've had a lot of people uh, interested in Nearpod. I'll link the video up here if you want to check that out, which is another great resource. I know a lot of you are starting online this fall, so I wanted to share with you one of my favorite resources called Boom Cards. If you go to boomlearning.com, you can check this out. This is a really neat resource for you as a teacher and for the students. I find the students really enjoy it. These are basically self-checking cards. Students can pull them up um, through the website or you can give them a link um, or a code uh, and they open it up and it's, you know, you've got questions, they've got answers, it'll tell them if they're right or wrong. So it's really a self-checking activity. You can do it um, through Zoom as a group or you can assign it to students individually. In general, the way I use these is for practice after the, the live lesson. So I do a live lesson with the students and then I might assign them some boom cards to practice. What I love about this though is for you the teacher <laughs> and that's on the data end and um, as the students do these cards you can get the data. Let me walk you through it a little bit just so you can see how this is really beneficial to you especially in a virtual setting. Boom Cards is really cheap. Um, you can get the, the basic package for I think it's $25 for the year. Um, I highly recommend it. If you do the free one, I think you only get like five decks of cards. It's worth the 25 bucks compared to some of the other um, platforms out there. It's really cheap. Once you get it set up, um, you're going to have your classrooms. So I've just set up a couple of classrooms just to give you an idea. Um, you can simply add the students and um, really easily, you know, put their names in. You can import it from Google Classroom if you use that kind of stuff. So you'll see I have three test students here um, and when you click on those you can I just give them a really generic password. But once you create these boom cards you can then assign them to the students. So I can assign it to an entire class of students or if I have a student who is just struggling with one thing I may just assign it to one student which is really nice. Let me show you what these cards look like so that you have an idea. Now you can purchase pre-made cards. Lots of teachers make them out there. You can buy them off Teachers Pay Teachers or there is a store um, you'll see here right on Boom Cards if you want to do that or you can make your own. I will tell you there's a little bit of a learning curve in making your own. Um, so I'll do another video kind of walking you through um, making a set. But you'll see here in my library I've got a bunch of different cards here. Uh, one of the things I am doing with my students is walking them through how to use boom cards and in order to walk them through I've told you guys before I spend a lot of time at the beginning of the year just walking them through the tools they'll need so I have set up a boom card activity that's just a get to know Miss Stevens one so there's no pressure but it'll help them just get used to the different ways to use this so I can assign this to the students right so I'll press assign and I can assign it to all of my classes now they are all ready to go um, for that So let's take a look at what it looks like from the student's end. If I want the students to go in, the way that I find it easier for me, and there's a couple of different ways you can do this, but I just give them this link directly during my live session. So if you're using Zoom or something, you could just put it in the chat box. They can click on that link and go to your classroom. So you'll see once you enter the classroom, um, there it is, they can press their, their, their name. So they'll click on their name. Like I said, I usually just give some generic password <laughs> for them to get in it and it'll pull up their account. Any of the boom cards that you've assigned to them are going to be there. So let's just take a look at this one that I created, the Get to Know Miss Stevens one, so you can see what these boom cards will look like. So here's my Get to Know Miss Stevens one. For, they can do it from, an, from wherever they are, they will can click on things. So let's say, here we go, my favorites. Um, I'm going to be importing videos into these. I did not do that yet so that you guys don't have to see all my videos. But I'm going to have these videos where they can watch some information about me. This will take them back to the home. So I have information about my favorites, my education, my family, and my pets. So once they've watched the videos um, or you know learned a little bit about me, they can take the quiz. So now each of these questions is set up in a different way because there's different types of questions. So like I said, this is my get to know you activity so that they get used to boom cards. This is the fill in the blank type question. 
the op the uh, you know the opportunities here are really endless for you to create exactly what you want um, so if these were my students they would click on these what job did miss stevens used to have well i used to be a lawyer how many dogs does miss steven have this is a drag and drop so you can drag it up there or you can do picture multiple choice as well so click miss stevens miss stevens favorite foods that would be cheese fries okay so this just gave them a quick idea of the different types of questions that they're going to run into in the boom cards it might be a fill in the blank it might be multiple choice it might be that drag and drop or it might be a multiple choice with images instead so that gives you kind of an idea of what these boom card activities look like what i want to show you though is let me hop back over into my account because I want to show you what this does for you on the teacher's end. I'm going to sign back into my teacher account here. Okay, so the great thing about these boom cards is the data collection piece. So once the students have done the data or once the students have done the um, boom cards, in fact, while they're doing the boom cards, you can even pull them up. So you'll see here where it says reports. If I click on reports and I click on the deck that they're working on, let's say they were working on this finding ratios deck because I did that one in advance for our test student. It will show you all of the students and where they are. So if, like I said, I oftentimes will give these out after the live session. So after my live session, I will give them that. They will still stay in my Zoom room. I don't use Zoom, but you know you get the idea whatever you're using they'll stay in the Google Meet or the zoom classroom and they'll start working on those cards I can see where they're at I can see their progress if they haven't completed it this circle is going to be red otherwise it's going to kind of slowly show um, as they've completed it it's going to tell me what their score is looking like it's going to tell me how long they're in there it's going to tell me what their final scores are um, so it's going to give me a lot of information while they're doing it but i can also get the information for um, once they complete which is really helpful let me show you what that looks like so here is this test student and here is how they did so it'll show you each question it'll show you what answer they gave it'll show you um, it'll show you the wrong if they gave the wrong answer you can take a look at their student response um, so you'll see here it tells me that you know they guessed the wrong answers here so I can see where they're making their errors especially something like math you know if I, I can see where they're making their errors it'll tell you how much time they spent on each question how many seconds so if I see a student is down here in like three seconds all, all across the way then I know they didn't really try <laughs> they were just clicking 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 through um, so it tells me right away hey they might need to go and redo that it'll tell me when they took it it'll tell me how um, many times times they took it as I mentioned these are self checking the students can retake them um, so I usually say if you don't get a certain score you have to go back and do it again you can get a lot of data out here you can also compare the data amongst the entire class so if I notice that all of my students are getting question you know six wrong what is that question five wrong then I know I need to go back and reteach that concept or maybe my question wasn't clear so I can go back and take a look at that question and see you know where the breakdown was here on those so really easy really great resource to have available to you in the classroom like I said they're simple self-checking cards um, but they do provide you with a lot of data so especially in a virtual situation e you can either give them during a live class or if you're doing asynchronous um, this is a great assignment for you know to give to students because it will collect that data for you as well so I hope this was helpful just a quick kind of overview on what boom cards are and how they can help you if you're interested in more detailed information just let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see I'll probably do a you know um, create a lesson with me like I did for the Nearpod because I know people really enjoyed that there is a learning curve <laughs> there's a learning curve to creating the boom cards but once you get the basics down it, it's really easy and simple it's just takes a little bit of time to get those basics down so I'll do a video on that for you 
as I mentioned before, if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button. Leave me a comment and a like as well. That really does help me out. And I will look forward to providing you with some more information and more videos coming up soon. I hope you guys are all getting ready to go back if you're not back already, either virtually or in person. I hope you are staying stress-free and calm though. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye.